Now this is a vision that God showed me. The earth is bleeding to death. It's wounded and it's done in. They've destroyed the earth. Destroy them which destroy the earth. God's going to destroy the ones that destroy the earth. Now ask yourself this question. This is a simple, truthful question. I'm a, I'm a, a Christian a witness for Jesus by the Holy Ghost. And I tell what he shows me and the things I've seen and heard. I've seen in a vision the earth was bleeding to death. Now do you believe that when God made the earth, he put all the oil under the earth, all the natural gas and all the fountains of the deep and all the copper and the coal and the lead and the zinc and the gold and everything. Do you believe he put it under there so we could run our automobiles thousands of years later? Ask yourself that. Do we supposed to be pumping all the oil out in the earth. That is destroyed the earth. When we were in Wichita Falls, Texas, we visited a museum there. And it, they were so proud. Their whole area had been built on oil. There was a town nearby there called Burke Burnett, Texas. And it was had so many oil derricks in it. It was just all oil derricks as far as you could see. And then after they punched all these holes in the earth and took out all the oil, some of the little towns around there just completely went bust. They're like ghost towns now. The cemetery is great big, but they don't even have a store or a bank anymore. You have some old run-down buildings. In the building we were staying in, a man had killed his family and himself up on the top floor. They wouldn't uh, open that floor because he'd lost his oil wealth. And the Indians, when they had, when they were out there, the Wichita Indians, when Ten Bears was out there, they lived more natural. And the earth continued from the beginning of time until now. And now with all this greed and all these holes they have punched in the earth, they have destroyed their earth because they don't want to do the will of God. Now this is the Gulf of Mexico. And these are active oil rigs. And they punched that many holes out in the Gulf. So you see they done punched the land full of holes. You know they wouldn't be out there drilling seven miles down in water 200 miles offshore if there was any oil left in the land. They drilled it all out. And they burned it up and burned it in there. This is what's causing the glaciers to melt. They got holes in them. Cole Younger was shot 13 times. He got shot full of holes, but he lived on for a long time. So the earth is living on. But it's shot full of holes. It's bleeding now. It's taking all that oil that keeps it cool out and under because of greed. The oil that used to be in the earth now covers the earth. It's like taking the blood out of your body. They've bled the earth to death. God put that in there for a reason. He balanced everything. He gave us a good, beautiful, pristine earth to live on and everything we needed. It was balanced and beautiful. But out of man's greed, and they don't want to do God's will, they want to fulfill the lust of their flesh, they've bled the life's blood out of the earth, and they're actually destroying their cells when they destroy the earth. Do you know that the Mayas are right? There's an end to the earth. The earth is ended, like when they tore down the Jewish temple. They killed over a million of them Jews about 30, 40 years after Jesus left, and the time of the Jews was over. Now the time of the Gentiles are over, and now we're in the dividing of time. And this is what happened, this is what God showed me about the earth. It's bleeding. When I got out of the army in, in 56, I, I went to work for Joy Manufacturing Company, and I was a driller. And we drilled for coal down in the earth. And we'd hit seams of coal, they put in shaft mine and take that coal out, send it to Pittsburgh to make coke out of, to make automobiles, to melt uh, down steel and build fires and things. Well, we'd hit pockets of gas, and that gas would blow water 100 feet over our rigs. And some of it would, if a man smoked there, it would catch on fire, burn up the whole rig and everything, because it's releasing all the natural gas. You see, if you take all the oil out of the engine of your car, and all of the water out of it that keeps it cool in the water pump, then you take out the natural gas, you take out the, the uh, water, you take out the oil and the coal, and you've destroyed the earth. The earth is now destroyed. It's doomsday. You're sitting on an earth that gets too hot because they've got no oil underneath it to keep it cool. They have destroyed the world.
this earth that has gone on for millions of years, who knows, but God, and has been beautiful and renewed itself. Now, in the past hundred or so years, by technology of greedy people, knowledge has increased and people are running back and forth like the angel showed Daniel and just to fulfill the lust of their flesh and they need this oil so they can run back and forth and buy all these things. They have destroyed their earth. These uh, oil rigs out in the Gulf, some of them they drill down more than seven miles to reach the ocean floor so they can drill it out. And many of them are leaking. They, they're supposed to be capped off but they're not. And when this oil leaks out in the ocean, it has destroyed vast areas of the ocean. It's just dead zones in there. And all along the shorelines, they are destroying their own earth. I don't even think God will have to destroy it. They're doing a pretty good job by themselves. Now this is the people in Canada that's destroying their world. They're, they got shale. I think some of it's in different states. But... They, have, they don't think about underneath the earth and why, how God made the earth. Do you know they used to do it? Detonate atom bombs under the earth, hydrogen bombs and nuclear bombs, to test them. Look how much damage they did. And now they're fracking and they're, they're running things every which way to get more oil, more gas and everything. And shale, now they're getting shale because they're running out of drilling. You see, by them drilling 200 miles off the coast, they don't have much oil. They've destroyed the world. The Mayas are right. This is an end. You're bleeding. The earth is bleeding to death. It's been shot full of holes. Millions of holes. It's all over the world from Saudi Arabia to Venezuela, Mexico, and all the places that's got oil. It's been shot full of holes. The earth is bleeding to death. The water has been so bad all of our lives that we've been drinking bottled water for over 30 years. David sent some of it, well, he didn't send them, but some of his men went and got some water that he liked. And he could drink fresh, clean water packed in from a stream. And they would dig wells and they would have stream. But now they're fracturing so much to get the oil and the gas out that the water in some areas is combustible. It will set yourself on fire. They're breaking up the inside of the earth to get all this for their greed. They're destroying the earth. It's like breaking up the inside of your body and you expect it to go on and be healthy. They are destroying their earth for greed. Now like we say, the EPA is lying to you. It's not burning the fossil fuels that's destroying the earth. It's these greedy exons and and a BP and all them taking the oil out from under the earth. That's what keeps the earth cool. This is why the glaciers are melting. You're going to see more and more droughts, more and more storms, because underneath the earth now, the inside's been destroyed. You go to the doctor and he tells you you've got cancer, you'll soon die. I don't care if it's cancer of the liver or what it is, you'll die. All right, the earth now has been drilled full of holes. It's shot full of holes. It don't have the oil in it to keep it cool. It don't have the natural gas to keep the right pressure on the earth the way God created it. And it's going to wobble out of shape. And it's going to be a misalignment. And all the glaciers are going to melt and they're going to destroy this world. In fact, it's already destroyed. The times of the Gentiles is over. You have destroyed the very world that you lived in for greed. So get ready. The only way out is by the Holy Ghost. And you have destroyed this world for greed.